Raiden, you landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Solitan radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have questions. Okay, <laughs> and as you can see, I'm wearing a white body suit instead of the black one you saw on the cinema on the uh, the cutscene. Oh, this fucking cat! I mean, seriously, use um. Well, at least um, my question was being answered if I got all my stuff back. But <laughs> I was gonna say this fucking cat. No point using uh, free blade mode on it, on it because it's going to dodge it. Apparently, you can cut up humans, uh, you know, maim them, decapitate them, and so on. But cats? Oh no! Fuck that! You can't do that to cats. Uh, can you? You can. I actually remembered when I played the demo of this, I cut the stairs apart and I I essentially broke the game. I don't remember that I don't remember in the demo that you could um you know run up walls like this, but uh, apparently you can in the full version. I just never did it because I was like, oh I don't want to break the game, you know? <laughs> the bastards are using stealth camo to ambush you. Nice try. Uh, that is not a fucking ambush. He just appeared in front of me. Oh shit, I did have another weapon. Ow! I was trying to get his arm. Fuck. Uh, did I get his arm? I don't think I did. I completely destroyed them. Maybe I should have put this on very hard. <laughs> oh dear. So I mean, it's, it's black. With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where did Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, there's still the fuck was that? people who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Ryden. Even for you. Reference. There's a reference. school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Hey, did the knife on his back just disappeared? I think it did! And now it's back again. So why did I get, why did I get for that? An A. I should get a fucking A. Well, no. I, I do get an A for that because I got hit and the game won't like me for getting hit like right. that. You need to head inland. Now, I don't really like using the um, the analog stick to, you know, wave my blade about when I'm in blade mode because it's kind of difficult to get the accuracy right. And there's going to be a couple of boss fights that require accuracy. And my god, they're a pain in the ass. This is so fucking right. sensitive. I remember the one. early... But first, make your way through this building. Fine. Ryder, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Oh, 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 frame rate's going down! <laughs> As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. 
Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Playing the last boss was a pain in the ass when I uh, did this. Because I didn't upgrade my endurance. So I had, he I had a lot of health, but I had no endurance to keep it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just wondering, why did they not replace Raiden's eye? I mean... I'm pretty sure they have mechanical eyes in this fucking world. Now, what the fuck is that? Something's up there. I didn't notice that last time. Might as well have a little look. Well, if I did notice it, I don't remember it. I remember in the early versions of Mid when Metal Gear Rising was just called Metal Gear Rising, you know? Uh, but you could actually use that... I think that's more of a dagger than a, a sword sword that's on his back. You can actually use that. You move much differently then as well. I think that's when the game actually had stealth, but they couldn't really incorporate it in there. I didn't really see stealth in that demo. Come on. Oh, yes. Ah, what is that? Data storage. All right. That's what it is. The lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them. Or approach from behind. Yes, with this sort of um, tacked on stealth element. I mean, this is not really meant to be a stealth game. Even though they did put it on just for. Well, you know, it's Metal Gear. They gotta have stealth. But yeah, again, Raiden's not really that subtle. It's good to know that he had a cybernetic ass. We got, we, we, at least we know he's got that cybernetic ass. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. Oh, all right. Doosh. Got a guy down there, got a couple of people down here, let's see if we can save him, and there's something over here. Whoosh! What's that? Grenade! Huh, I remember trying to use items in this game, and it's such a pain in the ass. You know, if they ever going to do another Metal Gear, and I know I'm talking about Metal Gear The Phantom Pain, but why do I get the feeling they're going to bring back Solid Snake somehow? I was like, what's the point in The Phantom Pain? I mean, why are we? Why are we following Big Boss? Big Boss is fucking dead. We know how his story ended. So why are we still following him in the 80s? I mean, I don't know. Am, am I? I mean, am I just being an asshole about this? Am I not being rational? What? Yeah, let's try and kill them all. Oh, did he drop an item? He dropped an item, and it's uh, a chip thing. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. What? No, I'm not doing. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! What was that? That was bullshit. Oh, he. For some reason, riding right in front of him. You are heading <sighs> to the operation zone. Head to the waypoint marked on your solid on the radar. I don't know if the civilian actually gives you anything and all of that, but you know, I don't remember saving many civilians in this game any anyway. But oh, but seriously, what the fuck was that? I was gonna save him, and then all of a sudden, I was trying to like assassinate him and. It didn't work. I was kind of afraid that if I assassinate him, I'll alert the other guy and he'll be like, <gasps> but I thought I could try and get him with blade mode. But no, I fucked that up. <laughs> I just want to cut all this. Woo. 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 Oh, the supports are not going down. <laughs> oh, come on. 
I mean, seriously, in the Phantom Pain, uh, fucking uh, Big Boss has got a mechanical arm, even though he's in the 80s. He's got a holographic uh, projection map thing. And it's good to know that Big Boss still has his creepy, uh, like, hobby of kidnapping soldiers from a different group, from different groups, and with balloons. It's good to know that he's not dropped that. <laughs> Big Boss, our hero, folks. Well, well, he's not supposed to be the hero, but whatever. I'm just confused about the Phantom Pain. What the fuck is it all about? Why are we still following fucking Big Boss? I don't know. Oh, got you, got you! No, 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 no! Get him! Go, go, go! Get him! Get him! Get him! Whoosh! Ah! Oh, oh, the frame rate's gone. The frame rate's going down. <laughs> What's it going? Is that ten frames per second? <laughs> what the fuck? Why have I got the staff on? I didn't want the fucking staff. Oh, did I not get his fucking arm? Oh, shit! Ah, grab that then. Once again, I tried to get his arm, but it didn't work. Nah, he still kept the bloody thing. Very good, Ryder. Now, keep heading for refinery. Keep heading for refinery. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll go there. Calm down. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake! I was trying to... Uh, that was bullshit, I was trying to get him. Okay, get down, get down, get down, get down! <sighs> I was trying to fucking stab him in the back and it didn't work. I don't know what's going on, I'm, I'm not this bad. No. 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 There's a guy there. No! Oh! I saw that coming and I didn't do anything about it. Oh, fuck off. Oh. I don't know what the hell that guy was doing, but never mind. I don't mind I got his arm. Oh. Come here, come here, come here. That's bullshit! Get off. There, now I got him. Nope, got you. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I don't, I don't know why it didn't allow me the first time there to, you know, slice and dice him. And the frame rate has gone down again! This has not happened in, when I first playthrough of this, what the fuck? See I didn't get a rain for that, huh? They have erected an electromagnetic barricade. Oh. Maybe expecting UG or cyborg attacks, huh? Maybe. Anyway, I wanna see it. Did he have any stuff here I can nick? I'm pretty sure they did. I don't know. I don't know why has Raiden got one eye. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can just give her a mechanical eye. I'm pretty sure mechanical eyes exist in this world. <laughs> I don't know why he has to give himself a disadvantage by just leaving one eye in there. <laughs> 